Hi, uh, this is a Faraday cage made just using ordinary uh, gauze that you would use with a tripod in a science lab. What I've done is I have wired several of them together here to form a little cube shaped box. You can see I've used like copper wire there to just stitch them together. There are a few gaps but probably work fine without that. So that's going to be like a lid. Um, I'm going to use as a base this copper gauze to form the cage. So when I close this over, we've got a cage. Here we've got a little radio. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm in bed, darling. What's Some that? awful play I from Radio 4. It's all bruised. <laughs> get my mum's treasure box off the top. Ouch, that looks bad. And we're seeing the problems, Jed. Okay, so when we put the cage over it, the radio waves can't get in anymore. They, they get absorbed by the wires and uh, used up as the energy of pushing electrons up and down these wires. This is exactly how the uh, door of your microwave works. You can see light through it, but the microwaves can't get out because they're absorbed uh, as energy, pushing electrons up and down these wires. Let's just see that again. And what I was doing, getting my mum's treasure box down. I don't know. So even if it's not fully pushed down, you can still sort of hear it. So the tighter the box is, the better it will work. And that's it.